Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting From the Workshop video. I am your host, Brandon Hart, and I am here once again in our fabulous Nimblelink Nerd Lair. This time we are going to start off the series that we've been talking about for a little while now, really kind of focusing on not necessarily the, these theoretical concepts that we talk about a lot of times, like, you know, how do you design your board and what do you take into account for cellular and uh, what modem should you pick and all that kind of thing. We're going to do it. We're going to actually dig in and do it. Here at, uh, at From the Workshop Development Services Incorporated Limited, we have uh, encountered a client. Uh, our client's name shall be, let's go with Jane. And Jane has come to us with a difficult problem. You see, Jane lives in a rural area and Jane's mailbox is a quarter mile away. And so we've decided to assist Jane with her mailbox by making it a smart mailbox, an i mailbox, an e mailbox. I, I don't know, we'll, we'll come up with a name or something at some point, but Jane needs to know a number of things about her mailbox a quarter mile away. All right, so let's talk about what Jane's issues are with this mailbox. Number one, probably the most obvious. Jane wants to know when she gets mail, right? So mail goes into the, into the mailbox. We need to know it's there. Can't see it from the outside. There's no clear indication of it. So we'll need to put some sort of sensing system inside to determine whether there is in fact mail. But what if Jane was the one that actually put that letter in there that needs to be sent out? Well, in that case, Jane's gonna put the flag up. So we need to be able to determine and sense what the uh, position of the flag is. So that'll be another thing we need to add. Uh, additionally, because Jane lives out in, in, a, in a rural area and uh, she has a lot of admirers, sometimes she can get some perishable items in her mailbox. So not just letters and things like that, but actual perishable items. Let's say, I don't know, chocolates. So she also wants to make sure that if she were to receive some of these very, very precious gifts, that they don't sit in a mailbox and overheat and melt or, or spoil potentially, depending upon what it is. Um, so we need to put a temperature sensor inside of here as well. Uh, in addition to that, of course, we need to, uh, she, she does live in an area where there have been known to be some issues associated with vandalism. Mailboxes get knocked over from time to time, or in some cases even stolen. So we're gonna put an accelerometer in here and alert Jane to, uh, to the potential of some vandalism that may have happened to her mailbox as well. Last thing, um, we also wanna make sure that, well, maybe not the last thing. We also wanna make sure that uh, somebody's not taking Jane's mail that isn't Jane. Um, so we're going to keep track of this opening and closing of the mailbox door. So that way we know it's Jane, she's the one that did it, or it's the mail, mail person uh, who, who took the mail or put mail in, that kind of thing, not somebody else. Um, again, she's not gonna run a quarter mile extension cord out to this thing, so guess what? We're gonna be running off of a battery power. But to keep the battery power topped up, I say we add a nice solar panel on top. Why not, right? Let's trickle charge the battery and keep it topped up and keep it working as well. So that is going to be our From the Workshop uh, client build, let's build uh, for a cellular proof of concept type of, of solution. We want something that is field deployable. We want something that is quick and easy to, to put together. We want something um, that, that we can hopefully just reference a lot of existing code and and, uh, and and figure out fairly easily how to get something up and running as fast as possible. So how are we going to do all of this? Well, put this to the side for a second. We had to make some decisions on what cellular technology to go with. 
This may not be a big surprise to a lot of people who've been watching the From the Workshop video series. Uh, you know, again, we described a battery powered, uh, you know, ideally low power type of, of device um, that would run off of a, a, of a battery, be able to pull sensor data and transmit it occasionally or when a trigger uh, causes the modem to wake up and, and send data in. Uh, so this is a relatively infrequently reporting type of scenario. Yes, we are going with a Nimblelink Cat M1 Skywire modem. Now you may notice there's some other boards here in addition to the Skywire modem. We also had to figure out, well, if we're gonna use an M1 modem, what should we use to actually do all of the sensing and, and um, uh, run the code and, and all that kind of stuff? We had a lot of choices um, in, type, in terms of different types of development boards and things like that, but we ended up going with this. ST Micro Nucleo board. This is specifically the L476RG variant. Um, this one's nice because it's low power. It is uh, it's able to run code. You can you can uh, write your code and compile your code uh, through the embed uh, system and, and online compiler. Um, so it's kind of nice to have that. And then of course to marry the modem or adapt the modem to the underlying uh, nucleo board, we need something that can sit in the middle. We have here, pull it out again, we have here the uh, M1 DK or the M1 development kit board. And this is a standalone board, but also if you notice, we can change the jumpers on this board and use these pins on the bottom, which are in the Arduino header uh, or uh, um, set up, pin out, and we can slap that right onto the Nucleo board. Now there are these external pins over here that we can put all the sensors into. These are the ST Morpho pins, I believe they call them. So this is where we'll put the sensors into. We'll allow the Arduino header with the M1 DK to communicate with the M1 uh, Skywire modem. And we can put a battery in here on the M1 DK as well, and then power all of that up with uh, that external solar panel so that we can charge the battery when it's not being used to power the modem. So that's the plan. Good in theory, of course, but um, we're gonna start here. We hope that this really suits Jane's needs well. Um, maybe a little bit overkill, but that's part of the fun. So you'll get to see as we work through actually putting a lot of this stuff together, um, again, making those decisions on how do we proceed, you know, this antenna could sit on the inside here, it could, it could be cabled out to the outside, what's the difference, um, you know, lots of different things like that. So that is the plan. I hope this will be fun. I hope this is something that, that we can all, uh, you know, play along with together. Maybe you can even uh, play along at home um, with your own boards and, and uh, see how you would do things better than me. I'm certainly, I'm, I'm sure there are going to be a lot of instances and in, of things that can be done a lot better than the way I'm going to do them. Um, but, uh, but yeah, hopefully it, it kind of proves the point of, of what we're trying to do here with a rapid proof of concept, uh, using existing off the shelf boards and, and, uh, putting something together that can be deployed into the field and prove out the concept before we start creating an actual product and, and a customized board and, and that kind of thing to, uh, to, to productize this. We'd love to get your suggestions for maybe uh some names <laughs> for this thing as you may have noticed wasn't wasn't real creative on the on the mailbox monitoring system or uh i don't know we need some I, I, I we need some help we need some help on the name so anyway let us know what you think it should be called uh, hope, uh tune in next time subscribe like this video and uh if you subscribe then you'll be notified when you get the next one ring the little bell and the youtube uh, leave us some comments down below. Send any comments you want to workshop at nimblelink.com. And until next time, have fun building. I know we will.